The kids are great. They don't cry or steal treats, and they obey all the rules. No, 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 get him, get him, get him. I think this is for babies to sit on. I think that's why we have this. Don't you think that's why this is here? With our five kids, two who are autistic, we set out to experience God's creations by visiting all the national parks. This is our family's adventure to Step House at Mesa Verde National Park, where I share three tips of taking kids on a hike. Before heading to Colorado, we go to church where Simon, our autistic two-year-old, plays with mommy's hair the entire time. I'm gonna be honest, I thought we would be out a little earlier than this. And I'm feeling pretty anxious, um, just remembering to breathe. Ready or not, here we come, Colorado. The drive to Colorado is expensive, but we passed some cool rock formations and an abandoned Jeep on a cliff. Only in Colorado. RV La Mesa is a perfect full hookup RV park for visiting Mesa Verde. Close to the park and close to so many amenities within walking distance of the grocery store. You excited that we're here at our camp spot? Yes. This little kid oh wants to get out, huh? Hi, hey. Are you happy that we're parked? You can finally get out of your car seat? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Yeah? Is this a cool RV park? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You ready? This is our family's adventure hiking to Step House at Mesa Verde National Park. Just mommy and the five kids. Since some of the most difficult hikes have to be scheduled in advance and are limited to 10 people, we weren't able to sign up the whole family. Actually, we were only able to grab one ticket for Mug House and one ticket for Square House. So while Daddy is hiking Mug House all by his lonesome, Mommy takes all five kids to Step House. The baby wants to be carried already. We haven't even started the hike. But we did find everyone's hiking shoes, so that's good. What hike are we going on, guys? I don't know. The Step House. Step House, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's what you wanted? You wanted the water bottle. We got restrooms. Everyone go potty before we go on the hike. baby wants to be carried. So you can play with mommy's hair. One thing that does help is I've got this big awesome fanny pack. So he's kind of sitting on it a little bit. Oh, you want your water? Want your water? Tip number one for taking kids on hikes is have water accessible for them so they can decide if they want water so they can see the water if possible. So like, I just have his little sippy cup that he knows is his on the side of my fanny pack so he can just grab it. Oh, we're gonna have to walk. Maybe he'll walk though, because now he's got his water. We'll see how long he'll walk for. Oh, but having water that the kids can see and know that they can get at any time. There we go. He's helpful. I think this is for babies to sit on. I think that's why we have this. Don't you think that's why this is here? For babies to sit on. Okay. Yeah, it is blank. It's okay. It's okay. <coughs> This hike is a loop. It's a loop? Yeah. There's an entrance in the entrance. Oh, cool. All right. I guess let's go on the entrance then. Okay, second tip is when you're taking kids on hikes, oh, make sure to just plan on taking more breaks than you usually would by yourself. Because I remember when I was a kid, we'd go hiking, go backpacking, and I did love it. It was a lot of fun. But I remember feeling like, oh man, oh man, I just need some more breaks. Like, let's break, let's sit in the shade and have a drink, like every half mile. Like, that'd be great. 
and parents sometimes don't understand that because we can go longer but don't you agree that sitting in the shade and taking a little break is a good idea and another ish tip oh marie has an extra bonus tip what's bring candy bring candy do you want some <gasps> With safety harnesses and ropes and stuff. Yeah. That's where we're going over there. That's where Step House is. Oh, I'm sure that's why that's there. I'm just positive. No, 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 get him, get him, get him. Wanna go in there? That's pretty cool. That's where they lived. Oh, At least they have shade right now. Yeah, so they would get in through the hole in the roof. So, about halfway through this supposedly short one mile hike, this baby was walking for about a minute, and then he fell and scraped his knees, and they're bleeding. So my third tip is to bring little band-aids. Because, and then also, especially with toddlers, it's better not to show them the blood because I felt like he wasn't crying that bad until he saw his scrapes in me. And then he like freaked out. If I would have been prepared, if I would have had some little Neosporin and a band-aid, I could have gotten that done while someone else, you know, distracted him and then he wouldn't have even seen the alley. We would have covered it up with a band-aid and it would have been fine. So, don't forget a little first aid kit. Even a big first aid kit. Heck, snake bite kit, kit might even be wise, okay? Because I saw a snake over there. It wasn't a rattler though, but still. Step House is definitely a fun family hike. It's only a mile long and I definitely recommend it. Though I do have to say, we were all sweaty and tired by the time we were done, and the van has never looked so inviting. Next, we're headed to the most popular hike in Mesa Verde National Park with the entire family. Yes, this time Daddy gets to come too. See you next week. Say bye.